I'd rather ride with the killers than to die with the faint. Go hard for my people, never bow behind gates. Live free in the wind, not to die in restraints. Rather laugh with the sinners than to cry with the saints. The devil laughed while Jesus wept. I ran the street while mama slept. Secret kept, kept me out of jail. Granted, pray, keep me out of hell. Never bail till I make bond to stay home. I gotta stay gone. James Bond with a bad bitch in a Chevy truck, black as acorn. Gassed up with no brakes on. Blaze trail like napalm. Stay calm, we ain't the type of people you can break. On. Straight up in the disrespect, I hit him with the straight arm Game on, color in your shirt, red crayon Can't escape, so I'm the goat, you gotta put the blame on Keep your cape on, to save yourself from devastation Riding with them shooters that'll shoot, no hesitation Put it on the line, that's a bet that you can bank on I'd rather ride with the killers than to die with the faint Go hard for my people, never bow behind gates Live free in the wind, not to die in restraints Rather laugh with the sinners than to cry with the saints What's up, YouTube? Bayview Bud back with another Honda Prelude video because fucking people can't get enough of these cars, it seems. Uh, man, every time I drive this damn thing, somebody approaches me like at a gas station. Or Funny, because you'd think if they were that popular, they would have sold more of them when they were out on the market, but here we are. Anyways, this video, uh, I'm just doing an update video. I touched on the front lip install I did the other day. I just put on the uh, Mugen side skirts, which were a pain in the ass, let me tell you. Um, and I'm just gonna go over the car front to back, kind of what it's got under the hood, everything that I've touched on, kind of in previous videos. But I'm gonna kind of do a culmination of everything in this video with an update on where it is now and what my future plans are. Honestly, I never thought I'd own a car like this again. When I was in high school, we had the tuner cars. Uh, that was a huge thing. I'm from the generation where Fast and the Furious was like our our car Bible, you know what I mean? That was like what you look to for inspiration. Um, but as I got older and I made a little more money, I got into the truck game. Um, I do have my Tundra still. Um, the thing that led me to buy this car actually, uh, I'm up here in Canada. So last, what? last winter spring the gas prices skyrocketed as I'm sure they have in most places in North America um, and I had two trucks I had an old Silverado a 2003 Silverado that I had rebuilt and then my Tundra I just simply couldn't justify spending that much money on fuel for two trucks so I sold the Silverado made a good chunk of change on that thing and with the money uh, I started looking around for a four banger um, something good on gas so initially what I was looking for was a Honda Civic um, and man was I in for a shock when I saw the prices some of these 90s and early 2000s Civics are going for. Um, so a buddy of mine actually was the one who suggested, I was like, yeah, I'm looking for something good on gas, like a beater. And my buddy's like, why don't you get a Prelude, man? And I was like, holy shit, I forgot about the Prelude. Like you don't see them very often anymore. So I started looking around. Sure enough, I uh, found a guy down the road from me who uh, owned this car and kept it in great shape. I'm the third owner. I got it for about five grand, which is a pretty damn good deal considering what they're going for now. Those fucking JDM cars are to the moon, buddy, the prices. So I'm probably gonna make some money down the road off this thing if I don't fucking piss all my money away on adding on to it, but that's another story. So anyways, let's get into the car. I'll show you the uh, current updates, all the new things I've done the last couple weeks and uh, we'll go through it inside and out. And if you have any questions or recommendations, you can leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Okay, so first off, I guess I'll start with the interior. Um, this car, man, honestly, for the year, it's 22 years old. It's the last uh, the last year they made the Prelude. The interior is in immaculate condition. You can see there's no cracking, no weathering on the dash. Um, they did swap out the original stereo for um, this touchscreen Pioneer deck. 
Uh, that was in the car when I bought it. The seats have no tears, nothing, no discoloration. Still in wicked shape for 22 years. Even the door panels, man, those scuffs, nothing. They're in wicked shape. Um, I'm very lucky to have found a, a model in this condition because it saves me. I'm OCD, man. I would start replacing parts and trying to locate things. And if, if anything was weathered or not looking proper, I would have to go out and find new parts. So I'm very lucky this thing's in the condition it's in. Even the steering wheel, there's no weathering on it. It's in really wicked shape. Um, I'm trying to keep it, the inside as stock as possible aside from the stereo there. Uh, just because I like how it looks. But uh, I might... I don't know. I've been thinking. I've been looking at these built well or billet, whatever they're called, uh, and likewise shifters they sell. I might swap out the OG shifter, put something a little nicer in here. We'll see. The heart of the beast. So we got the H23A, also known as the H23A Blue Top. Now I do have the blue top at home in storage. Uh, the car just came with this. The guy before me clearly went hard on the whole red and black theme, um, but it looks good. You know what? I'm I'm happy with it. I think it looks clean once the hood's popped. Uh, I do have an MSD ignition coil booster, T332 headers, um, the H23A, uh, a couple little accessories here and there, NGK plugs and VMS wires. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I'm drawing a blank you got the intake of course so aside from what's in here already uh I might do the skunk 2 performance intake manifold and the sorry and the um throttle body as well um uh, larger throttle body uh we'll see um it's not really a priority at this point in time but it's just something that I've been thinking about so that's what we got under the hood I'm pretty lucky with how clean it is I got no complaints for the outside. Like I said the other day in my previous video, I just finished installing my Gretti front lip, which you can see right there at the bottom. And I did get the Mugen side skirts put on. Um, now these were painted by a buddy of mine who works at an auto body shop here. Um, I'm happy with the job he did. He did a wicked job. He hit it with a couple coats of clear, so it looks real nice. My only issue with these side skirts, now again, they are side skirt covers, they are not replacements. I found that shit out the hard way, man. These things are a pain in the ass. They're not a perfect fit. They are like a slip over and then you have to screw them in. So I had to run self tappers all along the bottom and on the inside of each wheel well. So just keep that in mind. They may not be a perfect fit if you buy these online. Uh, I found that out the hard way and one of the things I will show you, which I had an issue with, so they did not want to conform to the top. So what I did have to do, which pissed me off, is I had to put a little screw in here on each side in order to bring the top half in. Um, but you know, other than that, I got no complaints. They look pretty good. So, Sorry, I'm trying to figure out this gimbal thing I bought to help make my videos look a little more professional because I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing, figuring this out as I go. Um, but yeah, we got the new side skirts on, the new front lip. Uh, the car came with the rear valance or splitter, whatever you want to call it. Um, so now I feel like it finally looks complete because before I had the rear section, the side was just stock, and then the front lip, it just kind of looked like short in the middle and then it dropped down on either side so i'm really happy with how it came out overall um i'm trying to make it look like someone my age owns the car not a 15 year old you know what i mean like i'm 33 years old so i'm trying to keep it tasteful without making it look too uh riced out for back lack of a better term rather that's the other side Yeah, I'm really I'm quite pleased with how the uh, overall look of the car has come together since I've bought it. Um, 
the only issue I have now looking at it is I feel like with the smaller tires I just put on, I feel like I have more wheel gap. So I do need to get some coils for this. Uh, just to slam her right down on the doozies, lay her on the ground a bit. Uh, I think airbags right now are out of my price range because I'm getting my caddy painted and that's costing me a shitload of money. So I think, you know, 800,000 bucks would get me a nice set of coils and then I could sit her right down on the pavement. So for my wheel and tire combo, uh, I swapped my initial rims that the car came with for the Avid One AVO 6s, which are 17 inch. And I paired them with the Firehawk Indy 500 tires. I've been running them for about two weeks now, so I don't have an honest opinion on them, um, but I do love the look of them. I went the 205 40 17s, which I think it's the perfect amount. It's not too beefy. It's got a bit of stretch and uh, yeah, I'm just loving the look of these tires with these rims. They got a tiny bit of offset. If you look at it from the front, you can see it sticks out just, just the right amount in my opinion. So that's what I'm running for wheels and tires. Again, like I'm new to this car game. Um, so I'm figuring things out as I go. I'm a member on a couple Facebook groups, so I'm getting some info from the guys on there. But yeah, these rims actually, I saw a guy in Montreal selling a Prelude and he had these wheels on it. So I DM'd him like, what wheels are you running? And he told me. So I ordered these from Toronto and I got them for about 1600 bucks, I think all said and done plus shipping. So it's not too bad, especially for how they came out. I'm really stoked. So one issue I have with these old Hondas is the exhaust note. Now I've got a full epoxy exhaust from the headers all the way back. It's catless. I chopped off the Apexi muffler and I swapped in a Viber performance muffler, which I've mentioned in previous videos, because I was trying to make it a little more quiet so it doesn't draw so much attention to me. So what I'll do right now is I'll fire the car up and let you guys hear the exhaust notes so you can see what I'm talking about. It's It, it drones a bit at the higher RPMs, but it's not so bad when it's just idling. So I'll fire it up. Again, it's a T334 headers, full Apexi exhaust with a Vibrant performance muffler. You can hear how that combination sounds and let me know in the comments what you think. So that's more or less the overview of the car. Uh, I don't know if I missed anything. I don't think I did. Future plans, what I'd love to do in an ideal world, it's gonna be a lot of money. I already got it priced out. So we'll see if I can afford it. I'll start saving up, but I would love to do an all wheel drive conversion either out of a CRV or they sell some kits. There's a company in the States that sells a kit for like 4,500 US, but convert it to all wheel drive k swap it and turbo it and get like a 600 horse all-wheel drive prelude i think that would be pretty nasty i've seen like one or two of them online but uh i don't think there'd be anything like that up here in canada so in a dream situation that's the ultimate goal but for now i might do a couple of little cosmetic things here or there if anybody's got any suggestions or recommendations uh please feel free to drop me a line in the comments below you can check out all my builds, my motorcycle, my um, my car, and my other car, my Cadillac, as well as my truck, on my Instagram that I use for my vehicles, which is BackroadBB6. So it's at BackroadBB6 on Instagram. Uh, if you have any questions or, like I said, recommendations, please reach out. I'd be more than happy to hear them. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.